Ja, und damit sage ich Hallo zu Folge 3 von der Kanzel und wir begeben uns heute in die Höhle des Löwen und schauen mal, was uns im Haus erwartet. Impressive. Ah, my son, I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada Derice, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Konfrontationen. Während einer Konfrontation musst du durch mehrere Phasen gehen und dabei so überzeugend wie möglich bleiben. Konfrontationen wirken sich auf den Verlauf der Geschichte aus. Daher solltest du bei Bedarf auch deine Fertigkeiten einsetzen. Und es klaut und schauen wir mal. Thank you, my son. I'll bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Okay, jetzt. Das ist wahrscheinlich zu offensiv. Wir versuchen es, glaube ich, lieber diplomatisch, oder? Certainly, Your Eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Ähm, ich glaube, das sollte man ihm auch nicht so auf die Nase binden. Die beiden können wir nicht wählen. Schwierig. Bleiben wir mal bei der Diplomatie, würde ich sagen. If you know my mother, you will understand that I cannot answer you, your eminence. I'm sorry, but... Do not worry, my son. I perfectly understand and I expected nothing less from you. Discretion and secrecy are both pillars of the organizations for which we work. You are the worthy son of Sarah. All the same. It bothers me to see you in a quandary, your eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Ah... Uh... I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Ja, Logo, hier damit. Hmm. Mit oder ohne Fähigkeit, ist jetzt die Frage. Only you know that, Your Eminence. If you're asking me if you can trust me, or if I can keep a secret, I would answer yes, absolutely. I understand. In truth, it all depends on the nature of the contents of your letter. It is a list of names. This list must be of extreme importance. Ah, if only you knew. It's a list of people that your mother must help. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Ja, aber sicher doch. In der letzten Phase musst du die Person mit der du redest überzeugen. Die man passen wird. Falsch entscheidest, wird die Phase so lange wiederholt, bis du die richtige Option hast oder keine Fehler mehr möglich sind. Okay. Dann kann man ja hier quasi nichts falsch machen, oder wie ist es? Ich 
I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur De Luce. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Verborgene Elemente. Viele Hinweise und Gegenstände sind nicht sofort ersichtlich. Manche von ihnen wirken sich auf dein Abenteuer aus. Deswegen solltest du stets die Augen offen halten. Okay. War klar, dass wir hier uns noch weiter umsehen müssen. Hätte ich sowieso gemacht. So, dann schauen wir mal, was machen wir denn als nächstes? Erstmal hier ein bisschen in der Gegend rumstöbern. Und dann gucken wir mal, wer da hinten so aufgeregt am Brabbeln ist. Das eine ist ja, glaube ich, die Herzogin, wenn ich das richtig gesehen habe. Well, maybe I should introduce myself to the other guests first. Ich will aber lieber rumschnüffeln. A cash. Cash and Tash. Nie verkehrt. So, die Karte ist bis hier noch ein bisschen übersichtlich. Autsch, eine Sammlermünze haben wir. Das wird wahrscheinlich... Nein, Erdsternchen. Erdsternchen, was ist in den Zustand sensibilisiert? Du kannst vorübergehend die Immunität und Schwächen erkennen, die sich auf einen Dialog auswirken. Du kannst nicht mehr als fünf bei dir tragen. Okay. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. Hier geht's schon mal nicht weiter. Das ist nur die Beschreibung vom Bild. Blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Everything in this painting is disturbing. It's the first time I've seen brushstrokes like this. Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside down, out of humility. Surprising for an entrance hall. Ist doch schön, wenn man so wo reinkommt und man sieht erst einmal Gekreuzigte und einen, der seine eigenen Kinder frisst. Ich finde das sehr einladend. Mal ganz abgesehen von dem Speer, der gleich hinter der Haustür auf einem zielt. <lacht> So, dann haben wir hier noch ein Buch. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Hmm. 
Da komme ich so nicht dran. Dann müssen wir mal schauen. Na jetzt. Ich mein Chimney war big. Wird erst hier das Event getriggert, das habe ich schon erwartet. Das ist das Einzige, was ich sagen kann. Ich bin lange für ein warmes Fire für Ewigkeit. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monsignor, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me your eminence. It's simple. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet, and you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Um, da bleiben wir doch jetzt auch mal ganz allgemein. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Holm, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Ja, das mit dem Verschwinden sollten wir jetzt wahrscheinlich nicht sagen, weil sonst kriegt der Kardinal... Lord Mortimer asked me to drop everything and come find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Ah. Oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. Okay, da war weit genug weg. Da kommen wir schon wagen. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Good Lord! Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. So, eigentlich Dialogtimer, wenn die Seite abläuft, wird automatisch eine Antwort ausgewählt. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh. We shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? 
If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Okay, hier haben wir Gott sei Dank keinen Timer. Das ging mir natürlich vorher zu schnell. Ich wollte eigentlich meine Antwort selber wählen und was über den herausfinden. Und deswegen glaube ich, werden wir jetzt mal mitgehen. My vision is more important. Let's follow home. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington, I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Holm. I shall see you later. My friend, I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, the troubles in France have fatigued him, but he will recover slowly. Do not fear. He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. You look rather pale. So, Excuse me, idea. sir. I have been <laughs> neglecting my duty. I haven't introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holm, an old friend of Lord Mortimer's. A real pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France. How do you find this peaceful little haven? Charming, if I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. Yes, I heard the news. What a story. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. Hmm. Was nehmen wir denn jetzt wieder? You seem to know my mother well. Is that true? <laughs> Who does not know of her, sir? She has such a wide circle that everyone knows your mother from a distance or closer. Everyone knows Sarah, my son. But you only know her by her reputation. I remember she once worked for the Crown of England and that she always honors her engagements. However, we have never been personally introduced, sadly. Well, if I'm to believe my vision, you're not going to get along with her. Thank you for your answers, Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. Not that I remember, young man. Perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. And what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought... never mind. It'll come back to me. Would you allow me one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Um, what do you want to know? Was machen wir denn hier? Am besten da mal nach der Mutter nachbohren, oder? Oder soll man es allgemein halten? Do you know the reason for my mother's presence here? I haven't the slightest idea. No. She was invited by Lord Mortimer. But you don't know why? Not really. I was given to understand that your mother was looking for something. And do you know how long my mother and Lord Mortimer have known each other? Several years, I believe. They seem to know each other for quite a while. But it was the first time that Lord Mortimer had invited her to join us here. Good. And finally, would it be possible for me to speak with Lord Mortimer this evening? I'm terribly sorry, no. He really is quite unavailable. But please rest assured that everyone is doing their best to find your mother. All the same, it's not the Chateau de Versailles. It can't be that difficult to find her. Worry not, my son. I am persuaded that we shall find the famous Sarah de Riche. No doubt with new adventures to share, huh? <laughs> no! Elizabeth! I should have insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? Uh, Let me handle this. I'm used to this kind of thing. Thank you, Mr. Dibshay. Miss, can can you hear me? Leave me. Her breathing is becoming stable and... Her heart rate, too. Pale complexion, thin, broken nails, an enormous scar on her temple. Tattoos on her hands. I don't know what happened to you, Missy, but it looks like you've been through hell. Can you tell me something about her? Uh, 
I'm the dizzy spell is harmless, but her general condition is frankly alarming. You seem to know her. What is she suffering from? I don't know exactly, but her father sent her to us in the hope that she would recover all her faculties. It would appear she suffers from episodes of dementia. Is she aggressive? Sometimes, but only toward herself. She has never hit out at anyone else, I can assure you of that. If she wasn't like that this morning, something must have upset her. That's one way to put it. The poor girl is exhausted, but that's not the cause of her problem. Are you all right, Elizabeth? Do you feel any better? When did she arrive? Uh, four days ago. Okay. My mother had already gone missing. Okay, die Mutter wird ja wohl kaum verschwunden sein, weil die aufgetaucht ist. Das ist auch schon. Consciousness and she immediately reaches for her brooch. I don't know exactly what it means to her, but obviously it's got to be something important. Are you all right, Elizabeth? You gave us quite a fright. Take it easy, miss. Let me. I just need to get back to my room. Of course, my dear. Go ahead. You saw it, didn't you? Pardon me? Isegni della bestia. Sorry, your eminence. I don't speak Italian. Hey, uh, hey, hey. It. it doesn't matter. Gentlemen, it's getting late. It is time for everyone to go to bed. It has been a long day. Okay, ich würde zwar eigentlich gerne selber entscheiden, wann ich ins Bett gehe. It's all the more delicate. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Okay. Oh, it's naughty to tell lies. Bet my life that you were talking about something totally different from the decoration of the manor. But to find out what, I should have stayed with them. Too bad. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. So, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Okay, der kennt die ganz offensichtlich. Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Okay, das mit den Hinweisen, da müssen wir auf Zack sein, weil da kriegen wir mal wichtige Zusatzinformationen, habe ich den Eindruck. Was bei meiner Reaktionszeit wahrscheinlich auf Dauer gar nicht so gut ist. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Yo. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Und wir sehen uns dann right. beim nächsten Mal und suchen das Zimmer. Bis dahin.
Macht's gut und ciao, ciao.